Ignition. Welcome all to the Dobson and Power channel. <laughs> Let this flow. Hack. I'm very happy today. Good morning, USA. Good afternoon, Europe. Good night, India. Madzif is in the house. Samir. Good afternoon. Amy, Brian Fowler. Bam. Dobsonian power. power. Halloa, halloa. I just hacked my 294 MC color camera and here's how I did it. It's an inexpensive, very simple to do hack and maybe very, very powerful and useful for people that use astro cameras like this one, the 294, taking pictures with your telescope. What was the hack? By the way, I didn't see anybody until now, so far, anybody in the world doing this simple hack. At least as far as I know. At least it's a simple hack. It was an idea I had. It can be... Anybody can have this idea. But at least they didn't share if they had already. It's a good idea to use with any telescope, but especially with this 6-inch 
Beginner, Virtuoso, Go to Heritage, Skywatcher, 6 inch telescope. 150p. <laughs> it's choppy. Let me check. That's why I was waiting at the beginning. Let me check because I want to this footage to be well. It's the weather. Was waiting at the Let me check. To the Dobson and Power Channel. Night, <laughs> India. Ah, uh, that's okay. For a very simple to do hack and maybe very, very powerful and useful for people that... It's fine. It's fine. Hello, Geisler! Lou Marcotte video is fine. It's fine. In my, my side, it's fine. So that means that everything is fine. Sometimes with the live streams, it's uh, a hard part. So, yeah, I, I will tell you why I'm so excited. I feel more than happy today. I feel a relief you can't imagine how, and you will say, but Tiago, this guy, what, what has this guy that he is always happy? I didn't. I was all these days, uh, previous to today, suffering a lot, suffering a lot with a, a storm. I just came from, from the city, the town here, and I saw uh, broken trees everywhere, um, metal things uh, bended and all over the place, guys working in the streets and streets closed because of the trees. It was a, a bad, bad, bad storm that passed here. And uh, I even had uh, to be careful parking my car. I usually park in a certain street when I go to the town hall. And uh, I didn't want to... I, I parked the car and I... I start seeing some metal uh, stuff like shaking and, I, and trees and I said, no, no, the chances here are, are not good. I will park in a place, the car, without any trees, without anything, and I will walk. Walk is good for the heart. So I did it just like that. I don't want to play with, uh, with luck. But I was suffering a lot. And um, hello, Talal Pro. <laughs> and you know what? I will tell you. This is very important for the channel, for my life. Today I had a meeting at the town hall with a very important pe person there. And I took my architect, uh, a very kind girl, with me. Or woman, uh, whatever. It's a good architect because the, what happens here with my observatory this is illegal what i have here this observatory that is also a studio is where i i do my stuff so it works as a, an observatory and a studio i have my telescopes here it's small but it's illegal at that time some years ago I contact the town hall and the people there said to me, oh, you can't do nothing now because the law, uh, it changed. So you do like this, like this and like this, and you will have no problem. Don't worry. The, um, it's not the police, the, um, the people that uh, is always um, fiscal could be. Let me see how you, you tell in English. not the tax well it's the like the police of the um, the town hall that are the um, the buildings uh, that are illegal or not here on europe at least here everything that you do in any place at your home anything that you build anything you have to have a license otherwise they will catch you and it's a, a problem they stop the the buildings everything and uh, I have for two years. I just wanted to move the um, to lift the 
the walls here because one of the lights of the cars everything two because of the wind when it's strong wind i can't put the the 12 inch dobsonian outside because it's too heavy the king the king, the king. And also because of security. Why? Because here sometimes we, I live in a tourist place, beach. Uh, this is a, a very nice place for, for holidays. So they come a lot and they stop watching the, the GPS or whatever. And some, sometimes I have the telescope outside and from the street you can see. And sometimes, I don't know, some people don't know what it is and start looking. I don't like to, to be here with my stuff, with telescopes and people from the street watching what, uh, what I have, an expensive material. Well, it's not so expensive, but it's, it's uh, something that I, I prefer to have a, a low profile. So these three reasons made me want to lift the, the, the wall here. And I make the project with the architect. I, make, I put the project running in the town hall to have the license and guess what they said that oh wait you want the the wall but everything that you have there it's illegal so you can't do anything and the last communication to the, my architect was he has to destroy everything we don't want that blah 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 god this is my business i work here I do my astronomy all here in the observatory. They are playing with my life. They don't know yet. So I had a, today, I had a, a meeting with a, a big boss there, basically. About this, explaining what I'm doing here. Come on, I'm not doing this. I didn't do this illegally. I did that, but I didn't know. Somebody told me to do that from the town hall. So I did as it should be. And now they said to me, you have to make a project. I did a project. I paid the architect, everything, loads of money to make that simple project of the wall to place the telescopes outside. And I was explaining to someone, and it's difficult because it's two topics that is that are not very wide and very broad and here in my country. One is astronomy. How can you explain that astronomy and pointing to the sky is important? Not only for me as a business, but for the country, for the, the town and for the future of the next generations that will come with more and more stuff around astronomy. At least I believe that. And science. How can you explain that to a regular people? And besides, in addition to that, to be a YouTuber. Well, this is my business. I do astronomy. I have a, a YouTube channel. It's difficult, but I was fortunate. And uh, the girl, the woman that uh, that was there, I didn't know her. Uh, she was very empathic, let's say, with my situation. He, I think she understood very well. And she said to me to put everything uh, by by mail as a support of what we were talking and then they will study my situation and so on so I was kind of a, a relief we call on USA code enforcement huh I didn't know the council it's the town hall the people that uh, that manage the city town hall town town hall let me see the council. Town hall. It's the, the translation. Uh, city council. They, they have here also. Common hall. Town hall. And city council. Yes. City council will be. So I two years here fighting for a license. Doing everything they ask. To, to change everything. To adapt. No Espanol here. Sorry, Andres. Espanol only in Dobsonian power Espanol. We speak English, the universal 
language here. I live on here. Planet Earth, continent Europe, country Portugal, region Algarve, 37 latitude, Bortol 5. Then having that stress, anxiety for today, and at the same time, the bad weather, it was awful, awful. And more things that life placed me in front of me that uh, I had to solve and I'm solving yet. But it was a relief. It was a relief. That's why I'm so happy. And uh, now I could uh, pick this. I had this to, to test and now I test it, this hack. It's uh, to share with you. I will share this basically because to me is important. It may be redundant to some people. But it may be useful to some people. First, if you need to get that focus to reduce the distance of your imaging train. Imagine that you place everything wherever your imaging train is for astrophotography. Imagine that at the end you, you see that, oh, come on, just two millimeters more or three or whatever. How can I... I changed this and this can work with this camera, this hack and with many other cameras, the same way to do it. So I will show you what I just did. It works fine, very well. And I will show you to, um, to if it's an idea, if, uh, if you can, if you can, it can be useful to you. So. My first idea, now, the, the ZWO comes with uh, the ZWO294 with this default adapter, right? You see? This is uh, an M42 adapter. So M42 male inside, nothing outside. And it's the default adapter that comes with the ZWO. The 294 and many others. So what we usually do the ones that want to use 2-inch imaging train, we have to use this adapter, which is a simple adapter ring. This adapter ring you have on dobsonianpower.com. It's very inexpensive and useful. It's M42 at the top, male, to M48, female. Placing this in the camera, <coughs> screwing this to the camera, allow you to use anything as you know anything m48 so basically two inch <clears throat> like that you have your imaging train all uh, fully open which is good to avoid more vignetting and also the reflections everything and you can change anything that you want focal reducers comma correctors well anything filter drawers filters you can attach anything but because you know that from there, it's all M48, which is the measure of the twinch filters, the twinch focal reducers, the stars on the nexus, etc. So we use this. But this, this the, the default adapter has 11 millimeters. And if you had the, that adapter, that thin adapter with five millimeters more, so you got this at minimum. So you have in total 16 millimeters here. So what I did was, my idea was to change this. The first idea, and it was a fail, was to change this to this. This basically is a um, derotator a manual derotator you see it has m48 inside so i could with a simple adapter screw this to the the camera remove the default adapter and replace with this which will be more useful to the rotation of the camera especially in astrophotography but in the virtuos telescope with my new focuser if i ever need it I will just rotate the camera with this. The problem with this, and that's why it was a fail, 
it's the weight of this thing this is very very good very strong very stiff very sturdy but it's uh, it's heavy it's heavy and it was a disappointment a disappointment to me but it's the reality and what my strategy with the virtuoso and which i strongly recommend and the other dobs also is to take as weight as possible from the optical or imaging train from the focuser the less weight you can put there the better to balance the telescope because everything is heavy yeah but hold on because the best it's yet to come so you see why i i'm very excited <laughs> I'm relieved. I'm relieved. I, I think now that the things here will will go. It will take time. These things with the, the council take time, but I'm very happy. Now, what I did was, as it was a fail, this, I ordered an M48, the similar ring that we have by default in the camera. But this one instead is M48, not M42. Okay, so it's larger. It has one less millimeter. It doesn't uh, uh, measure 11 millimeters, but only 10, which is, is good. It's one less millimeter in the imaging train. This is especially important for truss stops, not only the virtuos, because the closer you can get the camera to the focus, the better it will be to manage the back focus. And also, especially if you want to add focal reducers that will push the focus plane inwards. So the, the more you have inwards the camera, the better and the balance of the telescope because a camera and everything uh, very large with the gravity the camera is at, at the top will wait more you know that no need to be a physicist so i ordered first i ordered this one which is basically the same but it's uh, flat here at the, the external part but then i saw this one which has these things here and it's better to change things because this will be the the part that I will be changing now and how did you attach this M48 to the camera which is M42 well with a simple ring adapter this adapter that you see here already it's a simple ring that has M42 male at the inner part to the external part m48 also male now notice that this has anything this is a simple ring you see with any stop anything it's very nice i searched on i don't have affiliate links because i searched on amazon and i didn't find any of these two adapters this ring i purchased on china websites and the other ones also they have this one but don't be fooled by that they have this m48 m48 in amazon uh, usa but be aware that that version has a stop at the middle we don't want any stop we, we want this to work freely only the one single thread not two threads separated with the same side but separated we don't want that so this with this simple ring we just have to do like this okay now my camera has 10 millimeters here instead of the 15 so i won half centimeter five millimeters of course with the stars on the nexus that has a back focus i changed this extension to fit to match the new measures 
why this is important for the, um, the virtuoso because now look at the, my focal reducer the cheap focal reducer i just do like this without any adapter and it fits perfectly instead of 3.6 F ratio now it's working at 3.7 I made the calculations because the distance it's a bit shorter so now I will work with the virtuals at 3.7 at F ratio which is super fast it's so it's not significant but not only it will be easier to to change it will be closer to the um, focal plane so I will adjust less the sliders down this will fit any truss knob you will need less movement down with the sliders you can pull a bit up it's just a bit but it's something and anything that i have two inches will be very easy to to change because if i want to use a barlow a one and a quarter barlow with this which i have already here inside this is the explore scientific focal reducer focal extension here inside it's a barlow and this i just do like this you see and it's very very it fits perfectly you see so everything in my imaging train will be shorter now the only thing which for me is not a problem but can be depends on how you use your telescope is that if you have a two inch barlow if you have a two inch barlow as i have let me show to you you place an extension here to insert in the in the in the barlow okay two inch barlow heavy you insert an extension not a focal reducer of course and when you insert in the barlow in the focal extender focal extension focal extender it will stop not at the flange of the camera but at the new adapter of course why is not a problem to me because it will not change the magnification at all even if it didn't change if it did change it was not a problem because you know with the barlows if you move if you distance the barlow from the sensor it will increase the magnification you can use a 2x barlow and transform it in 3x whatever you can't go too far because of the aberrations but you can uh, have more magnification with a focal extender no you can change the distance but the image will be the magnification will be always the same so it will not change the focal extension that's why it is a focal extender it extends the focal length of the telescope but only um, applying as is if you move the camera in the imaging train less or more it will not change anything unless you use as i use with the virtuoso you unscrew the barlow from the focal extender and you attach to the the adapter so this is the the new the new thing i want to share with you one day if you have a problem with having back focus now you know one solution for that and you ask me but tiago there's a problem there why is that because i usually use one and a quarter filters especially with a virtuoso with this ring that comes with a zwo and this ring is an m42 to one and a quarter so i can attach a filter here and screw to the m42 default adapter now it's not m42 it's m48 i can't use it yes you can because the ring that you have inside has enough thread for you to insert here this adapter usually you can do it with the fingers but i have a tool to do that and screw it it has enough travel to screw this one and a quarter here and still use your one and a quarter filters which actually is what i'm going to do 
with my virtuoso telescope. This was just one idea for you to have. Let's see. Hey, Chris, it's working, Chris. Yes, this is a, a different time. You know what time is it here? Six o'clock, 6 p.m. But as the weather is awful, look, you can't. It's only clouds here and this will be like this. I will not stream. I hope I can stream on, on the weekend, but not now. I can't. It's impossible. So I'm anxious to test this, the next live stream with the Virtuos Telescope. Probably, of course, of course, with the moon. Very nice, very, very compact, you see? Very compact with a filter. I can change filters, whatever, if you want. No Astro for you. No, I'm sorry, Mazif. Do the process. Well, you do. I saw your pictures. I like the idea of the rotator ring. I have no... Let me push here. Geisler, I like the idea of the rotator ring. I have to move my new focuser when I change from focal reducer to no focal reducer. Oh, I know. I don't have. The camera screws into a different place. Rotator might fix that. You have uh, likely another solution. If you use a simple, thin, it might work. Thin extension. This is a, an extension like this. An extension, a simple extension. I strongly recommend everybody to, to have those. Every astrophotographer has a good pack of extensions. M48, usually. With different sizes, 10 millimeters, 25 millimeters, 5 millimeters, 3 I have from 3 millimeters to 40 or something. To have on your... It's inexpensive. If you buy a pack, Actually, I have on dobsonianpower.com. Get free resources and links to the gear I use at dobsonianpower.com. Buy that pack, you should have already, no? If you don't, you, you should have. Everybody with telescopes and cameras, even without cameras, should have that. It's very useful. To everything, even visual, to parfocal eyepieces, everything. A rotator will fix that for sure. It will be very nice. The idea was great because you just rotate and that's it. And then you will not need to rotate again because the next time it will be already on the position. But this is this is heavy. This weights about 100 and ish grams so take that in account it's a trade-off i decided to to assume it, it was a fail to me because i didn't thought i didn't think about the, the weight i should but i didn't i forgot and then i will not use i don't need to use in the large dobs i don't need a rotator in the large dobs over an equatorial platform Besides, with an equatorial platform, the rotation is almost imperceptible. It's important a rotator to altesimot mounts. The ones that, like the Virtuoso, go left, right, up and down. And uh, ro don't, don't rotate at all. Yes, it will. This is this hack. It's, it's nice because it's inexpensive and it will be used, of course, with a, with a 12 inch. 
I will take this focal reducer and with a 12 inch I use or Barlow's or this, the, um, the Nexus. I just changed the spacers to match the new measures because now it's, it's smaller. The advantage will be especially for the Virtuoso or Trust Dobbs or if you have problems in having back focus imagine you do astrophotography you want to add a rotator or you want to add um, a filter drawer and when you take the measures you see oh i have so many things here but this will be too much but you win i think it's six millimeters at uh, changing for this hack doing this hack you win six millimeters in your imaging train so if you need that and it will be easier you will not need m42 between in between it will be everything m48 i never saw anybody warn but it's completely harmless this is only change the adapter for two adapters to have a m48 imagine that uh, zwo decided instead of the m42 adapter by default to place this adapter and we will use the same same way it's nothing special as i said it's an idea i never saw i never saw anybody having that idea or sharing it was a, a unique idea i had but it's not special it's I bought the whole pack for 42 and 48. Yes, uh, there was a time that I was thinking in by the M42 also, but I wouldn't use. I just use the 48. So, but many people use. It depends on your your imaging train. Hey, hey, what's up? Masif has a new gear. <laughs> oh, Masif, it 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 never ends. You're like that. Did you ever dream? I dream sometimes. I have this dream from childhood. I dream that I'm running, but I, I never get there. Whatever the place I I'm trying to reach. And I try to run, to run, to run. I, I feel always in the same place. And then I wake up. It's like Mazif with a gear and astrophotography. It never ends. <laughs> but you improve a lot. You have great pictures. That's a fact. I'm, I told you from the beginning. Well, not from the beginning, but from your beginning on astrophotography. That I told you. Send your pictures to Apod. It will give that dopamine. Hey, Pod. People, astrophotographers like to... It's like a medal. Your picture being recognized on Apod, you just have to write uh, a good text there, compact. Send to Apod. Go to Apod or whatever they have uh, the links there. Because I think your pictures deserve. Well, not only yours. We have loads of community pictures. We have loads. Look. Not kidding. This join us on Discord because it's free. You can become an exclusive member. It's not this one. Join us on Discord, it's free and you can keep in touch with the Dobsonian Power community. Look, the last one is from Azif. Horaya Nebula. Horaya Nebula. It's from Azif. 
so much information that it uh, takes time to load. You see? Look this one, the moon. I have to learn more about the moon. Guys, it's um, a goal that I have. It's a small one. A goal that I have here as a person is to learn more about the moon. Not to be a moon fanatic, but I want to learn more about the moon. We are going to the moon. NASA is going to the moon soon. So humankind will be living on the moon very soon, sooner than later. And I want to know where they place the the colony, where the plans, everything about the moon, the craters, the most important ones. You sometimes tell me during the live streams, hey, do this crater, and I don't understand because I don't know the all the craters of the moon. I will learn more about the moon. That's a goal that I have. Another one, Jonathan. Brian Fowler. It's the, the little Sombrero Galaxy. This is a beautiful galaxy. And here another one at the bottom. Huh? Very nice. Who saw you all at the beginning? What did I say to you? I'm here to help you be better than me. And you are. Jonathan. Uh, Jupiter. You see the, the virtuoso? Erima Kishigi. The moon. Look at this. Eyes up astro. Always with uh, very nice pictures. Look at this. Full of detail. This is astrophotography, of course. Because it needs long, long uh, integration to get this around this nebula, this planetary nebula, M27, the dumbbell, it's a beautiful one. Look, Astro Thieb, play this, under heavy fog, I guess it was at the mountain also, he's becoming uh, the man on the mountain, with fog, you see, beautiful, beautiful. You see, I like to watch your pictures. I watch them. You see this that I do here. I watch them all. Jupiter. Six inch virtuoso again. Jonathan. These ones are new. The, I love these NGCs. Rare NGCs and beautiful. We will do more of, of this stuff in our live streams. You just ask, look at the details of this dust here and the core behind the, um, the dust, the arms of this galaxy. Beautiful. You see. Another one here. Saturn. Jupiter, ah, this was mine. Look, the massive with the uh, 2600 MC. Watch this, Lou. The 2600. Let me see the telescope if it was the Newton. Ah, no, it was the 127 ED. He has a family of telescopes. Massive. Be aware, because people got divorced because of that. Be aware. <laughs> Hopefully not. I'm joking. Eh? Heart Nebula, no? I think. Might not have to move the mirror, Lou. Why is that? Ah, I understand. Well, it's six millimeters. 
6 millimeters. Maybe. 6 millimeters. And if this is like saving saving money. You save here, you save there, you save there, and then at when you grab it all, it's more. Soul Nebula, Soul Nebula. Thank you, Mazif. Six millimeters here. And then when you collimate the telescope, you can collimate in a way that the the mirror because they have travel, the collimation knobs, they have a certain travel. If you can collimate with the you do the best you can do to move the mirror in, so it means unscrew the knobs, not all, because the mirror it needs to have the those at least you there's a trick I do is to place the finger. Imagine this is the the mirror cell. The collimation knobs are here at the bottom. This is a telescope. If you insert in a 12 inch, you can do this very well. The, the finger like this and touch the thread, you will feel the knobs, the collimation knobs. You unscrew in a way you can do. It doesn't need to be only flat. It can go a bit inside. You will feel that with the finger. You don't need to look, you can't. With the finger, you feel. You unscrew, then it will be flat at the face of the... the the mirror cell and then you can go a bit more it, it should have a margin you do just the flat and then you adjust the collimation without unscrew everything and you get mu much more space probably it's an additional space to these six millimeters so what do you think about Death Viboni 305 Pro. Well, I don't know the that uh, brand. I don't have that brand. <laughs> I have the ZWO. I know very well what happens with ZWOs. If you ask me, the Altair camera, the KHY, the Death Viboni. I can talk about what I do with that kind of sensors. The 305, let me see. What's the sensor? 290. The 290 is the small sensor, no? Well, I can talk you about that, not uh, the results with, uh, with that camera. But the 290, I think it's discontinued. It was discontinued by ZWO. Let me check. It's very similar to the 224. Yeah. No. No. I'll tell you why. The 224 is better. For one simple reason. Well, right out of the gate. The pixel size, let me check. 2.9 in that one. And 3.75 in the ZWO 224 is good for planets, it's good for everything, it's cheaper. No. My opinion. Yeah, for guiding. Some people use... And the 20, 224 also. I lost the shot here. Oh god. You haven't used the 18-inch Newtonian in about 6 months. So much time. So I sold it and picked up a Celestron C8. Well... It's another solution, instead of buy more gear, to sell one, buy another. <laughs> oh god, Mazif, you will open a store.
Palmyros, I got the Virtuos 6 inch because of you, Tiago. I love the scope. I did your upgrades. Good, good. I'm glad you did it. And congratulations. <laughs> One thing I can I can give you is the, um, the follow-up. Because as I don't do many gear reviews, I just review what I use. That's also maybe a disadvantage for people like Mazif that wants to buy more gear. But it's an advantage for people for people like you that had or purchased the same gear. Because guess what? I do upgrades, I use gear a lot, I deal with problems with the gear, I interchange opinions like uh, we are doing in Discord. I use a lot of this. I'm anxious to use this. This I'm anxious to use the the virtuoso. Now I did a, a hack here with the sliders. I may have to adjust. I don't know. They are fine, like. Uh, but now with the new measures, maybe not. It's only six millimeters, maybe not. I don't know. So that I can offer you a better, not assistance because I'm not a seller of of products. That's my my wonderful sponsor. This show is sponsored by AstroArt Finland, your astronomical partner. Actually, he will send me... I will receive... Well, it takes time. The Elpro filter, which I had before. I had before. Some one or two years ago. And it was very good. And now with more light pollution, it will be... I will use the Elpro in the larger dobs. Maybe and uh, bother neodymium because it has two threads here with a six inch virtuoso. It's a great filter, the bother neodymium. Well, I did a video, the last video is about it. Keep the travel in the middle, yes. You're talking about what? My travel here or the collimation ops? Well, both. It applies to both. The collimation knobs if you can if you need back focus mirror up Lou if you really need do my hack with changing the knobs I help you in that you know just contact me on this card it's very easy you don't have to take the mirror off I help you if you need I we make a connection with on camera you point the camera private connection we po you point the camera to your telescope, you do the stuff and I guide you. Don't worry. I have you... You're back. You're backed up. Like that. It's being phased out by the 220. Yeah, they evolve a bit. The cameras are not evolving too much. Well, they do that hype to sell, but in my opinion... Nothing spectacular yet. I'm waiting. Says Irish Astro. You see, we help each other. What I don't know, others know. You see, the experience. Irish, Ash Irish Astro. I had the SV305 Pro and great. Go for the ZWO 585, way better camera, for sure. The 585 has a larger sensor. There's people here with the 585. It's kind of in the middle of the 294. The 294 is better. Or the two. Ah, the collimation. Yes, we usually travel in the middle, but in, if you need. Imagine that you turn the focus and you're always there, and oh, it stops. You need more inner focus, and but it was all, also almost there. It was almost there, the focus. You just need just a bit more. With this 6mm sack that I did today, and an additional, if you have on the collimation knobs, an additional travel, it's the same. To collimate the mirror, to keep the mirror in the, the right collimation uh, position, here or here, it's the same. Actually, I have it here because I changed the knobs, the knobs. Now I have travel everywhere. 
Now I can do it at the middle and work with everything. Yeah, yeah, good, good advice, good advice. Many people use them on Discord. Join Discord, the people that are on Discord, because you can take doubts there, people help each other. It's a small but good community, healthy. And so far, so good. <laughs> That's the trade-off. For Adobs, yes. For Newtonians, yes. For others, it depends. It depends. You have to do the calculations. You have the calculations on my webpage. They are very simple. Look. Look. You just come here to dobsonianpower.com. Click on free resources. And here you have a very compact and easy to read article that says everything. It's from Attic Cameras by Georgina Burnett. And you go here and you check here the pixel size in this table. You check here the pixel size and the focal length of your telescope. I said Newtonians are usually are for Newtonians is better because usually Newtonians come here with longer focal lengths. Of course, a Newtonian astrograph will have a lower focal length, will be here, will be easier to match with the pixel size at the left. So if you have low pixel size, you will be oversampling, likely oversampling with your Newtonian. Here is the right zone, here the orange zone. And it's very easy to understand. It has a formula. The 1, 2 arc pixel per second. Which is very easy. It's pixel size. Dividing by the focal length. Multiplying by 206.3. And it gives you the angular resolution. Or, or arc seconds per pixel. This is very important. If you want to... If you are serious about having everything... matching everything well the not buying a camera just because but matching everything to have a, a sharper picture a better everything everything is better matching that depends on the focal length of course it depends you have that the column with the pixel size and the focal length but usually the newtonians at least for instance the regular classic dobsonian i have the 8 inches 1200 it's too much and uh, 12 inch the king is 1500 of course using a focal reducer you will do the trick but even you doing that trick you will still be oversampling if you don't have good pixel size another way to turn around that is to use binning to buy two it will match the, the pixel size, but you lose resolution. I don't do Bini, that's all. Zero point sixty seven. Look, I'm on I don't remember, but I, I have it here. Because I did a table to get easier. Well, it's easy to do. My... Look how I do. My pixel size of the camera, of the ZWO294, it's 4.6, I think. It's easy to do. I will show you. 294. Pixel. Just to confirm, because my head... 4.63. Okay. So this is like this. Focal length of the 12 inch, the natural focal length or default is 1,500 millimeters. But, but as I use a focal reducer, 
da Star Zona Nexus, uh, da Star Zona Nexus I multiply by 0.75. Now this is how I use my my 12 inch at one one two five. So this is the my starting point, and I know that my pixel size it's 4.63. So I just have to go here. It's very very easy to this table. You see oversampling what happens? Bloated stars. Under sampler, usually with re refractors, blocky stars, usually, generally speaking. So I come here to the left, I don't have 4.63 at the left, but I have the nearest is 4.5, right? It's my camera. 4.5 here. So I go from here until the number I have in the calculator. 1125. So I come from this row here to the column nearest 1125. It's 1200. 1200 with 4.5 pixels will be 0 0.77. So it will be around this here. I'm oversampling, but this is the best I can do. At least I'm not here. In this zone it will be but it starts for sure. Like this, and you can see in my live streams, I have uh, nice stars, nice resolution. It will be better here, but it's what I have. So you see? The trick. I also like Brian's rough food. Of course, it, it's right. I saw it. On this car, you mean? I saw it on this car. That's perfect. The 294 with an Exus gives him exactly one arc second per pixel. Good. 077 on the 10 inch and you see the pictures and look that Mazif does a higher level astrophotography so he, he goes deep inside astrophotography so it needs more of that stuff you need more calibration of everything if you go deeper on astrophotography you need everything better collimation better whatever everything should match if you want to, go to be good and the pictures talk for him. So you see the pictures of Mazif with the 10 inch. And as he said, right now it has 0 0.77 around what I have. And you can see good results. Also doing EAA in my live streams, you can see that I have good results. With the stars are good, everything is good. Yeah, I, I don't like to be um, to take uh, too much this stuff in. How can I say this? I don't take the theory uh, too much strictly. That's why you see that zero point seventy seven works. It might work with some setups that range that you say zero point six to two, but it might not work with other setups for instance with some setups and different cameras and combinations being near two will be too blocky because it don't it doesn't have the the power for instance for instance it's much easier to with a, a powerful telescope in my opinion to to match everything maybe i'm wrong but it's my perception 
And 0.6, fine. What is fine? You know, what is fine? 0.77, it's fine for me. It will not be fine for many people. Some people are very strict with those calculations and everything has to be perfect because they do loads of uh, hours and hours and hours and the setup, everything. It's like the, um, the tracking. For me, my rough tracking that I have with the uh, Equatorial platform is fine. It's fine. The 10 second or 8 second exposures I do, it's fine. But for people that need more integration or more longer exposures, it will not be fine. For me, a, a not uh, completely perfect star in my pictures, it's fine. Then I have this star fixer, which is free and you have on my website a link. You just run the picture there and it's, it's fixed. But for some people it's not, for the eyes of the people, it's all relative. It's a balance. That's a good... I like that word, balance. In everything, balance, balance. Yeah, it's kind of what I... Kind of what I was trying to express. <laughs> You you express it in in two words. Amy ended up getting a second big camera, the AZ five three three, a good camera, so I could use it in my dob, small refractor, and my solar scope. Since the pixel scales worked fairly decent in all three, you see, she managed the with different setups to fit better that's a wise way to do it the 533 is very similar to the 294 the main difference is the square size that he has it has the 533 is squared i like i prefer i don't know if it's because i'm a youtuber and i'm used to the the rectangular view of things Uh, of course, of course, the seeing. See? Astrophotographer's stuff. So, uh, more important, the more you want to level up, the more important it is. And usually you want. Most part of the people wants to level up. I'm not the, the example of the majority because the EAA people are a minority they are between visual and astrophotography we do things different we have different goals it's different but it's a path it's a step further to and it's one more way to enjoy to enjoy astronomy Modern CMOS cameras are so good now, of course. Some people claim that... Uh, some people that does astrophotography claim that uh, soon or already you don't need guiding. I don't know. That I leave to the astrophotography world. I don't need guiding. clouds almost raining here incredible how one can use focal reducer and a filter at the same time for astrophotography and if possible can you show it yes actually i can look Cheap, as, uh, cheap uh, focal reducer, filter at the top, and the camera. You can use like this, or 
you can change the filter here you can swipe and you will get more a bit more of uh, lower focal length because th this will be distant it will be distant the focal reducer will have more distance but will distort more the edges it's another thing that i will test i don't know yet with the virtuoso i'm excited about this it's to know if being even nearest as it is now to the sensor of the camera this focal reducer for sure it will distort less i don't know how much less Yes, it has threads. You can use actually like this in a twinch focuser. You can attach any filter. Doesn't need to be double threaded. I like to op optimize my setups. A, a filter drawer is even better. This. You take the filter. See filter here. Like this. Of course, you just have to check if you have a M48 or 2 inch filter. It's M48 thread. It will fit any M48. What is a PI? 3.14 what is that you're welcome join us on discord because if tomorrow you have another doubt well here on the live streams i like to clarify it. i'm here to help you we are here at the end we we are here this community helps a lot as i said we are not a, a large community but we are so good so healthy that um at the end, it's better. What is that? You are joking. Let me take off. Because I don't know what, what that means. 3.14, 3 of course. So you are ready to rock tonight. I don't. I have no no weather. No clear skies. I wish I had. I will follow your captures on Discord. As usual. Ah, yeah, that's that's another idea. But that would be even worse because this is the same of uh, same perspective of Amy. She think in a solution that fits three different setups. I think in a solution that fits all of my setups. And when this six inch virtuoso, if I had this weight, which is even heavier than the. Um, The rotator. It will be even worse. If I didn't want to place this because of the the weight, imagine this with a filter inside. Can't be. Unfortunately. The the thing I think I will do is to use the small ring that comes with the ZWO. And attach a one and a quarter filter here. Might be the, the best solution for to use with a virtuoso, but I have to use one and a quarter filters. Well, cheap filters will not be maybe a ZWO dual band for 
narrow band uh, EAA, live stacking. And maybe, I don't know if I will keep using the, well, maybe. I have an infrared cut, so I will use a two inch. I don't need this. I will just need this for the one and a quarter. It comes with a ZWO and it's inexpensive if you need one. You should have if you have cameras. My arc second for the king 0 0.85. Yes, roughly. I was just making the calculations roughly. More or less. No, it should be less. Let me do the formula. Hold on. You are talking about 1500 millimeters focal length. I don't use 1500 millimeters focal length with my my king. No, 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 no. I always use with this. This beautiful piece of optics. The stars on the Nexus from my AstroArt Finland sponsor. This is probably the best tool I ever got for the Newtonians. I just can't use this because it's heavy in my Virtuoso. If they had a, a compact one and a quarter, it would be funny to use with a Virtuoso. Yes, I'm using like this. Hey! Congratulations! Rafael Agostinho. Portuguese? Brazilian? Rafael. That's wonderful. Every time someone uh, decides to to buy a Dobsonian telescope, it's a reason to celebrate. Because we all know what will happen. Rafael, you will buy the Dobsonian, you made a decision, you don't know what to expect, where more or less. But the time you put the hands on that beauty, place it outside and watch recommendations now. The moon, Jupiter, Saturn to start, Orion Nebula. Go to the Orion Nebula. Andromeda. No, but these ones are more impactful. Orion Nebula. Orion Nebula. Gorgeous. To start. Just to start. Then you watch, you enjoy, and call your family to watch. Or your relatives. If any. Around. Of course. Or friends. They will be like... <gasps> Take a picture of their faces. Watching. Or film. Will be interesting. Actually, if I knew what I know right now, I would film myself watching this the fir for the first time. Saturn. I think it was the first planet I saw. It was Saturn. Just to record my face, my expression, my feeling. And have it... Because the feeling I have it forever with me. But... And you know very well the feeling. But to see from outside. It will be funny. Brazilian Galera. Não esquece, tenho Dobson and Power Brazil. Dobson and Power Brazil and Dobson and Power in Espanol. They reached, they passed already the 1000 subscribers. We are rocking there also. Spreading the Dobson and Power in Latam, Spain, Brazil, Portugal, everywhere, Africa. Because we speak Portuguese in Africa. We are spreading like a virus. A good one. So subscribe there if you're not already. Because I'm dubbing everything to, to Brazilian. Portuguese. Hello, Mark. 
One hour. Max. More or less. I never uh, measure, but it's more or less one hour. Sometimes I think it's a bit more. Need more power. That's a one million dollars question. It depends. It depends. Depends of what you want. Search inside of you. Search in your inner being what you really want. Be honest with yourself. And whatever it is, you choose. Greetings, India! Love, 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 love. Love to India. I love it. I love it. I love it. You're doing a great job on space uh, with your space agency. More news soon. You're rocking. You're rocking. India is rocking. I heard some people say that it's easier to appreciate the visual capabilities of Dobbs while you're younger. Also, our backs are still strong when we are young. Everything is easier when we are younger. It's not only the Dobbs. You will listen that for the, that that phrase. Replace Dobbs with anything you want. And visual capabilities with any any other thing that match. Know what I mean? Like. I heard some people say that it's easier to appreciate swimming while you're younger. Also, your, our backs are still strong when you, we are young. It fits. I heard some people say that it's easier to appreciate the the reading books while you're younger. Also, well, we have more time. Remember that there are other factors involved. Younger people are busy right now with uh, sometimes with, well, whatever. They are busier. And older people have an advantage that we should grab strongly grab because not everything is negative about aging when you get older you get more experienced more everything more tolerant more patient more everything which is good for astronomy you get wiser you took better decision decisions and you have more time usually you have more time or you are retired it doesn't matter the um, well i will not b ever be retired because i choose another path i chose another path in my life that will stick me with working forever and it i mean forever it's forever until i can't physically and mentally but by the other hand i can do whatever i want with my life I, now I decided, well, I will be with my fellows of my community. I will share this with them. And I just, bam. Bam. Live stream. And whatever I want to do. If I decide tomorrow, I will go for a walk every uh, uh, all the time uh, until night. I can do that. But I'm stick in working all my life. That's what happens to business people to entrepreneurs yeah clouds here also Oof, it's horrible you almost can see this more uh, it's worse than what it seems on camera what it looks what question 
What question, HyperX? Ah, I can't decide. Okay, let's analyze. I can't decide between an 8 inch Dawsonian and a 130 millimeters from Explore Scientific. As I have to carry. Are you adding information? That is important. We need information. As I have to carry the 8 inch from the first to the third floor. And another problem is the base can't pass through my congested door. Suggest. Hold on. Put this in context. Is this the telescope? Is this the telescope? Explore first light 130 millimeters Newtonian telescope. Optical tube only. Is this the telescope you are talking about, HyperX? Well, thank you for your kind words, Puna. I saw your beautiful red wine, Dobsonian. Andres, go to geoptic, geoptic.com with K, geoptic.com. It's from Italy, but I remember once that somebody from United States asked me, I forward to them, uh, he contacted uh, Geoptic and they sold the, the platform and shipped to United States. I don't know the price of the shipping or whatever. I don't know very well. I know that it's uh, sometimes it's tough we from Europe to buy to United States and and uh, the opposite because of taxes and customs and whatever the borders and we have usually we have to pay a bit more but uh, talked with them my platform I, I like my platform it's not the best one but it's uh, the price it is it's strong enough to handle any telescope then you have on United States, you have the Tom Ho, which are strong also. I prefer mine. And I prefer the tap. I'm sorry, but it's the reality. It's not... Uh, it has uh, mine and the tap one, but the tap uh, is discontinued. They, they stop selling for now. So the only choice we have on Europe, the best choice right now, in my opinion, is the Geoptic. And the Geoptic has a very nice thing which is the the button to restart the platform during the night you see me on live streams i always restart and just click and it's a single axis but for what i do single axis is very well i don't need two axes as the tap have and that tom Ho, they have the two versions only for astrophotography is needed if you want to guide or something. For what I do, the geoptic is fine. Thanks, Brian.
Then you can adjust another advantage of the Geoptic, my platform, is that you can adjust from 30 latitude till I think it's 45 or more. Well, I have it there. You can adjust for every latitude. Easily. Yes, here it's 7 p.m. almost. Well, remember that you see more light in the cameras than what it is really, but it's gray. The sky is gray, completely. Yeah, with parabolic mirror, you want parabolic mirrors. You don't want spherical mirrors or whatever that crap is. It's subjective because I prefer the dobs because I do visual. I like simplicity. If your goal is if you are aiming for astrophotography later or this is an option, but as you said, you can't move the base or whatever. Well, thinking that one, you, you buy a good mount for them for it so you see it depends if it was me for me my situation my feelings my what i want the dog first but for many people will be the right choice uh, uh, scope like this one and you said the dog 18 18 sheets more than 130 even this Virtuoso has 150, 6 inch, 8 inch is much better. And the, 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 I don't know exactly the numbers, the percentage of the additional quantity of light that you grab with each additional inch. You can search anywhere, it's, it's math. But I remember that the di the um, the difference from lower apertures to the next aperture size of the mirror it's bigger at lower apertures than the more you go. That does it make sense? So it's more relevant from 4 inch to 6 inch than from 10 inch to 12 inch. Another hint here in USA blending crossbow or tomahaw, but expensive, yeah. The Geoptic is uh, one grand. It's still more or less, I, uh, when I purchased mine, was uh, was cheaper, of course. Now everything is more expensive. Everything. See? Almost double. Well, not double because you have to account it zeros here. Then you have the taxes, the shipping, I don't know. Contact them. Of course, if you know how to do them, I don't. You have the tools, the patience to do it, the willing, willingness. Already. <sighs> Here I still, I'm, I'm with the air conditioner too cold right now. But right now that I'm streaming and everything gives uh, or transmit heat to the, to the air. But after the stream, I disconnect the air conditioner. But you see, t-shirt. That's the advantage of lower latitudes. No, uh, cheapest, no. 400 bucks, 400 and 500, it's the the average price for a, a decent, hopefully decent, 
equatorial platform cheaper than that be cautious because it's a uh, something that has work behind and it has an equatorial platform it has craft work and time so cheap only by luck someone that wants to sell there's for whatever reason but buy new buying new 400 bucks it's a good price right now right now 500 also hello uh. thank you yeah it depends you know <sighs> you le less aperture but more mobility for you with the stairs you have all always to to grab the mount and the tube but you know i prefer the dobs I'm not on deep on astrophotography, so I prefer the dobs. I do the EAA. For EAA, you see me on live streams. It's very easy to manage a dob. This one will be the Newtonian over an equatorial mount. Will be it's harder to to manage, and it's for a, a different goal. I don't I don't know if in the future I will have one to do EAA also. Mm, I'm more deep yaa i don't know i don't know for so far i'm very happy with my dobs and the years pass and i'm still happy with them guys thank you very much have a rest of the day or night whatever it is in your place a uh, good one be good guys and girls love to all of you and i'll see you hopefully in the weekend if the weather allows bye bye